What's up, YouTube? It's your boy John from Project Ellsworth. Today, I am here to unbox my first ever purchase from Diabolic DVD. I pre-ordered something a couple of months ago, and I have been anxiously awaiting getting this package. So as always, I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe. I know what this is, so it's no surprise to me. I, After all, I ordered it. Um, but I thought that I would open this on here with you guys. I have never ordered anything from Diabolic before. So this, I was told by the guys on the Coast to Coast Horror Stream, this was on their website and it was available for pre-order. So it looks like I got a box inside of this poly bag. But they told me that this was available for pre-order and I absolutely had, I felt like I had no choice but to order this thing. I needed to have this. So here we go. All right, so it is, it's a, it's a USPS box inside of a poly bag. It's very exciting. All right, here we go. Get this thing out of here. This is the An American Werewolf in London Steelbook from Diabolic, well, from Arrow Video, ordered through Diabolic. So let's get this thing open and check this thing out. I have been wanting to order a whole bunch of American Werewolf in London stuff lately. I, it's been popping up, I've been seeing it everywhere. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, so now I feel like I want to go to like Turbine. I know Creepy Calvin got the 4K of American Werewolf in London through Turbine. But I'm hearing like mixed reviews it's, that it really doesn't look all that great. I have a 4K scan already of an American Werewolf in London and it looks amazing. Not 4K, a Blu-ray scan. And it looks amazing. This one, that's just the J card on the back. Do I need to take that off? Yeah, I'll take that off too. This one I couldn't wait to get my hands on. Um, I needed this steel book. There's another steel book out there, a couple more steel books out there, I believe. One of which, there's just the J card, nothing, no frills. One of which I can get from a friend of a friend. Cody from HS Collectibles has a friend, if he still has the thing available, because I've been dragging my heels. Look at that. Absolutely awesome. We all remember that in the movie. That's where he makes the phone call to his friends, he gets in the phone booth. What does that say? I can't read backwards. I love St. Martin's Hospital. <laughs> Boy, I absolutely love an American werewolf in London. NECA has been putting out uh, stuff on their Instagram that the four, what are they called? The Nightmare Demons, I believe is the, is the, the, the name of the people who appear in Jack's Dream. The Nightmare Demons, I think is what they're called. They're putting out one figure with four heads, which basically means that us collectors, us NECA collectors, are going to buy four of those figures. And they're also putting out the David Werewolf, which looks ridiculous if you haven't seen it. If I remember to do it, I'll put a picture of that in here. And I'll, put, I'll throw a picture in here of the demons as well. Uh, but here it is. Here's the steelbook. That looks crazy. So awesome. So cool. Here's a couple different pictures of Jack right after he's freshly killed and after he's uh, rotted and when he appears in the adult film theater. I don't know if I want to use that word on my, the other word on my YouTube channel. So cool. Check that out. All right, and inside, what do we have? Got something in there. Let me, I'll pull that out and take a look at it. There's what's behind the DVD. It's just, that's basically that, I believe. Yeah, it's the cover of the movie is behind the DVD or behind the Blu-ray. Let's find out what else is in here. So yeah, this is my first ever experience ordering anything from them, and I really don't pre-order anything ever, really. I don't know why, I just don't. So it's just a postcard, other advertisements from Arrow. 
That's all that is. I think I actually have... I have very few Arrow releases, but I do have that one. I have the woman. I got it for Christmas last year. My wife got it for me. And here... Come on. Is the little book that comes with it. Jack and David on the back. I am not very good at doing this flip through stuff. Oh, that's juicy. That's where he's eating the deer's head. There they are when they're walking around. I think that that looks like when they first come across maybe the slaughtered lamb. There they are in the slaughtered lamb. Jack after he's been attacked, or excuse me, David after he's been attacked. Pre-transformation. There's one of those nightmare demons. Come on. There's Jack and David. Jack looking delicious. That's when he's trying to get arrested. When he figures out that he is the werewolf. Words and more words. What do we got there? I'm trying to look at this thing backwards in my camera to see what I'm saying. Is that the werewolf coming through the window, through the door? No, it is not. So pretty cool. Very happy with this. I can't wait to sit down and watch it. And chances are, that's going to happen tonight. So I might get the 4K from Turbine. I might. I might not. But I just... It, this year is the 40th anniversary of this movie. So Oh, there's something else in here. All right. Pump the brakes. It's a poster. But this year is the 40th anniversary of An American Werewolf in London. And I'm expecting to, expecting to see a whole lot more. That's awesome. That's the... Uh, the steelbook cover all laid out very very cool and here is the original movie artwork that's awesome this might find its way onto my wall because that's just stinking awesome typically I don't put this stuff on my walls I just leave it in the DVDs where they came and that's that this might make it onto my wall I love that so I gotta measure that out and go find a frame Anyway, it's the 40th anniversary of An American Werewolf in London. So, Arrow put this out. Turbine put their 4K out this year. Um, NECA's putting out those Nightmare Demons, and they're putting out the David Kessler Werewolf. And now, the rumor has it that they very well may be putting out Jack and David. Excuse me. Seeing David would be, or excuse me, seeing Jack possibly with multiple heads would be very interesting. I would love to see that happen. I almost feel like, how do they not do that? But if they can't do that, I don't know if I would rather have the freshly killed Jack, where he's all bloody and gnarly looking, or if I would rather have Jack after he's just all rotted and he's like a green skeleton at that point with a coat on. I don't know. I don't know which one I would, rec what I, I would like to have. And those decisions ain't up to me anyway. All right, I'm going to get out of here. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you really like this video and you've been enjoying my content up to this point, please do me a huge personal favor. Click that subscribe button and ring that bell. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Have a kick-ass day. And thank you for watching. Later, folks.